Today I'm going to be reviewing three tricks by Joshua J. Phantom Deck, Inferno, and Triad Coins. I want to give a quick shout out to Vanishing Inc. for sending me these tricks to perform. The links to buy these will be in the description and the pinned comments. And take a look at it. I want you to make sure there's no photocopies. <laughs> and this is what we do. Hold it down. Yep. Stick it somewhere into the middle where you want. Uh, right here? Gosh, yeah, Push it all the way in. This is where it gets crazy. I'm going to try something with you now. Hold out your hand. Put your other hand on top. Your card lost somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Now, if I was to reach in and pull out your card, uh -huh. that would be cool. Yeah. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Because I missed, I'm going to do something really crazy. What's your name? Grace. Grace, on the count of three, every single card left in your hand, except Mike's card, is going to disappear. Okay. You feel them? You yeah. see them? One, two, three, Grace. All the cards are gone. Lift up your hand. What? Wait, wait. Except one. <laughs> you lied, my God. What the hell? What? Oh, this is insane. my God. There's actually no way. What? That was good. The first one I want to talk about is the Phantom deck. If you're familiar with or have the Omni deck, this is pretty much the same thing, except instead of a block. It's individual cards. One thing this has over the Omni deck is that after they lift their hands, you tell them it's gone. You or them can fan through and you see one card becomes visible, which is really cool. And it happens to be their card. There's not really much I could say about this, except that it gets a crazy reaction. If you have the Omni deck and you're thinking about getting this, you know, I recommend to switch it up a little bit with the individual cards. One thing I noticed when I perform an Omni deck, after they lift their hand, they see the block. They're like, oh, where did the cards go? But when they lift their hand with this and they see it's individual pieces, they don't ask that question. They just assume the cards literally turned invisible. I do recommend Phantom Deck, and I had a lot of fun with it. I am going to make a video on this channel comparing Omni Deck to Phantom Deck, so make sure you look out for that. And let's move on to the next trick. We have a matchbox here. We're not going to open it just yet. Hold this. We're going to burn. There's 52 cards. We're going to burn all of them and save one. And I'm going to have you guys come to a card, okay? So we'll start with you. Yeah, imagine you have a match. Are you going to burn all the number cards or all the face cards? You got it. Face? Face? Okay, so that's the jack, queen, and king. We'll leave it up to you. There's male cards or female cards? Male. You want to burn the male? Perfect. <laughs> They're gone. Leaves us with the four queens, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. We're going to burn them, but you're going to save one. Which one do you want to save? Clubs, hearts, spades, or diamonds? Hearts. Queen of hearts? Yeah. Are you sure? Save that, yeah. Can you open the matchbox and dump what's in there in my hand? Oh, I'm scared. Uh, you see, there's shot. actually one card. No. From 52, you guys limited down to one. No. And you said the king of hearts? Yeah. I mean, queen of hearts. Queen. What the? Uh-uh. Are you kidding? Uh-uh. Exactly the one you guys wanted. 52 cards down to one. Wait, I'm really confused right now. <laughs> is... No way. That's weird. How? No. Can you guys keep a secret? Yeah. Well, so can I. Bro. Wow. <laughs> You want, to see, you want to see one more? Yeah. I really like Inferno because this is all you need. A matchbox and the contents inside, which is a paperclip card. It's entirely self-contained. Very easy to do. And could be performed close up or parlor. I really like the Equivoke, the Magician's Choice, how you get them down to what you need to do. There's two versions. There's the gaff version and the sleight of hand version. I chose to do the gaff version just because it was easier for me. With the gaff version, after they save the card, you open it and you could show it's the card they saved, but you cannot give them the card. With the sleight of hand version, they save a card, you open it, and you can hand them the card. Just a little bit more clean, but that's not something I'm too worried about. I don't mind just holding the card. From experience, nobody ever reaches for it, but it's completely up to you. If you want to do the sleight of hand version, go for it. Joshua J recommends it, but the gap version works just as well. I do recommend this as an everyday carry. Just throw it in your pocket, and you're ready to go. I'm going to try something with just three coins real quick. I want you to notice I have no sleeves. So, Major, so you know these are... You don't want to be on camera? Okay. Yeah. We have a couple of half dollars here. Three of them. I want you to watch very carefully. Watch one at a time. I'm going to take it. And make it disappear. Bro. Leaving us with just two. <laughs> I'm going to do it again because you know what to expect. Okay. Watch the coin. I just take it. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> Leaves us even... with just one. Watch oh, the last. There's only one. Well, watch the last one. In fact, hold my wrist. Make sure it doesn't go nowhere. Hold my wrist. Hold this. It's like a magic marker. Can you tap? Can you tap? 
What? Uh -uh. Oh. what? <laughs> and they're all gone. Wait, I'm really confused where, where right now. Just... Now, to be honest with you, I'm good at losing money. I'm not good at making it back. So I don't know. I don't know where it goes, honestly. But that's going to lead us to another trick. I posted a video of this on JS Magic on my performance channel, and one of the comments said, oh, triad coins is hard to perform. I respect magicians or something along that line. I'm telling you right now, it is not hard to perform. If you watch any of my videos on JS Magic, you see I am not a coin magician at all, but this was very easy to do. Pretty much ready to go out of the package. In the trailer, Joshua J makes them appear and then disappear. I didn't make them appear. I just went straight for the disappearance. And I've performed this a bunch since I got it. It gets really good reactions every single time. It's very clean and very easy to do. The box it comes in is really cool because you can nest your coins when you're not using them to keep them safe. The handling is very easy. Each set is precision made by hand. And this is another one that might actually become your everyday carry. Because like I said, it's easy to do. It's fun. It's visual. It's quick. And it gets great reactions. If you have the money, I highly recommend you pick these up. These effects are 100% practical and work in the real world. They get great reactions. You could do them each as a standalone effect, routine them together, put them into an existing routine you have already. Either way, you will not be disappointed. The links to buy these will be in the description and the pinned comments. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.